his teachers and all of his digital designers wax personalized teeth. Now, I'm as bad as anybody creating words. I love to create words. We all create little terms. And Hey, hi everybody, I'm Luis Rodolfo from blog, uh, Dicas Rodolfo blog, it's a dentistry blog. Uh, I'm here with Edward McLaren, we just uh, heard his lecture today, so hi. And they're, and they're still here. <laughs> yeah, they're still here, yeah. <laughs> Real life. No, it was a very, very oh, nice thank lecture. You, thank very, you. Very, very nice. Appreciate it. And I'm uh, asking you, like, how do you like the event? Do you spot an event that uh, gathers dentists and technicians in the same place? to exchange ideas. Well, well, well you know, I, I know this uh, word is extremely overused, but, but awesome from my perspective. Uh, I, you probably know this, but to tell your audience, uh, I'm, a, I'm a dentist, prosthodontist, and, and a master ceramist. And uh, I think all of us in aesthetic dentistry and, and people that are trying to do the best for our patients uh, have been saying and know this, that, that we, we need more meetings that are open to, to bringing technicians and dentists together. And, and, and I, as a dentist, and all dentists, you know, I believe that the most important person on my team, and there's a lot of important people, I don't mean to diminish anybody's value, but is the ceramist, is, is the dental technologist. And uh, we have to have meetings like this. And one, uh, this was great. Number two, the organization was phenomenal. Uh, no corner was cut. Uh, it, it was just great, and I feel feel honored to be here. Uh, you know, sometimes when I come to these meetings, I do do a lot of these meetings. Uh, I, I come, and, and you know, the organization isn't so good, and and I, on one level, it kind of makes me feel a, a little bit good because I think anything I do will be great because the organization isn't so good. This organization was phenomenal, and all the speakers you had were just top drawer regular speakers. So that kind of kind of makes me nervous. I better do a good job then. So yeah, it was it was great, and I. Can't thank you enough for inviting me. I, I, I agree about the, the organization of the event. It was phenomenal. And uh, how how do you, like a dentist and a ceramist, and your colleagues see the Brazilian dentistry outside Brazil? How do well, you see? You know, it's, it, yeah. I mean, uh, to, to to not you know not not overdo it. I mean, Brazil honestly is, is looked at. As, as equal to any level of dentistry anywhere in the world today. Uh, it's been amazing for me to watch uh, uh, and just delightful for me. I have so many friends here now. I've been here a few times over the last few years. I think I came here the first time uh, in the late 90s, 98, 99, uh, to the big meeting in San Paulo that they have every year. It was my first time that I was invited. And uh, one, I thought it was very good then, and, but just to see, see the growth of, of, of the quality of the dentistry, the quality of the people, uh, just you know, the warmness of the people. Uh, but uh, it, it's, it really is second to none. Uh, obviously, there's many countries that that, that are, are are as good, and, and and I, you know, kind of kind of kicking some of the people in the United States. Uh, boy, we're we're going to be uh, in the back seat here pretty soon if we don't uh, if we don't stay uh, stay uh, stay current. Uh, so it's, it's great. I mean, it's, it's very it's, nice it's awesome. to hear. It's very nice. And just to, to finish, like we saw in the, in the lecture that you were a uh, Rolling Stones fan. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask you about what's your favorite song, but yeah. you know when, when you're a fan of a band, you don't have one favorite song. Like you used Jumping Jack Flash there. Yeah. But what, what are your two, three favorite songs from Rolling Stones? Like you've been to 23. 23, exactly. 23 shows. And I'm going to that big uh, thing they're doing in the desert. That's sort of a unique thing. It's, it's a spin-off of Coachella, if I pronounce that wrong, coming up here in October. Well, McCartney's playing the Who and the Stones, but uh, my favorite song is Start Me Up. I just think that's such a wonderful rock and roll song. Uh, it's my favorite song of all songs, but it's my favorite Stone song. Several of them, it's only rock and roll. That's a, that's a great tune. I, mean, I just think it's kind of a, a timeless begin, and, and those guys still look like they still have fun in their 70s. And, and, um,